It's your boy Ferg moving weight. I know a lot of y'all probably trying to figure out where your boy been, why you been MIA. And some of y'all probably like, fuck it, your fat ass probably quit anyway. That is not the case, but I'm gonna tell you what happened. Yo, we all know this weight loss shit is hard, man. Anybody who's done it, anybody who already trying to do it right now, or has tried to do it before and has given up, knows that, man, sometimes you just feel like you're getting knocked down, and then you get back up, and then you feel like you get knocked down again. Some days you feel like the devil is just trying to be on your ass and keep you down. And you have to figure out how to get out of that rut. So for a while, what happened to me is I was suffering from this pinched nerve in my spine, right? And it was something that was just killing me. Only sleeping for like two hours a night for months. You wake up in the morning and throughout the day, every movement you get is just killing you. You know what I mean? It was just a real fucked up situation. It was real painful. Wouldn't, wouldn't at all wish that on my worst enemy. And then I would have these like weeks, right? You know what I mean? Where I feel like, yo, I'm good. I think next week I'm going to be back in the gym. I'll be telling people, yeah, man, I'll be back in the gym next week. I'm feeling good. And then all of a sudden, bam, the extreme pain would come back. And next week wouldn't be the day. Or the next week wouldn't be the week. Or the next week wouldn't be the week. And it got to the point where it ran up on like three and a half, four months. And I still was having problems and finally, finally, I kind of got over those things. I had to shut it down a little bit, man. Before I was trying to keep interacting and keep doing these exercises and keep a little more activity to the point where I had to really shut it down and that's when it finally, finally started to get better. And I'm in a great point now where I can continue my journey and keep moving. Look, man, the universe is gonna challenge you. And the shit is all just a test. The test if you really about that life. A test to really see if you really want this shit. A test to see if you really willing to do what it takes. And then in the end, what I told myself is like, yeah, nigga, yeah. I'm fucking gonna do this shit. I'm ready to do this shit. I am about this test. I am about this life. Despite the downs, Despite this pinched nerve shit, yeah, 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 that's a problem. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, it was a setback. But fuck it. It was a setback. It was in the past. Now we got to roll back and go forward into the future. Look, at the end of the day, I'll tell you this. Ain't no pussy in me. I ain't giving up. Fuck that. Look, we just recently had a tragedy where Kobe died, right? And that shit puts a lot of things in perspective. Like his mentality, what he was willing to do. Like people have been talking about that whole Mamba mentality. And you would like to ask yourself, like, do you have that Mamba mentality? And I asked myself that. And I said, yes. But at the end of the day, but is that shit really true? Do I really have that? You know what I mean? Like you think about Kobe in the sense of that helicopter, right? I guarantee you, and even in basketball, I guarantee you, he was willing to do whatever it took to one, save his daughter and save the people in that helicopter and also save himself. I guarantee you he was willing to do anything. He would have gave anything for that. And then I look back at myself and I say, Nigga, why the fuck ain't you willing to do that for yourself? Or are you willing to do that for yourself? And I've always answered that is true. See, this whole like obesity shit ain't no joke. High blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease. Like so many of us black folks know somebody, an auntie, an uncle, a grandmother, who've suffered from this type of shit, had strokes, and die from them shit. So this is life and death. So I had to tell myself, motherfucker, no matter what, no matter the setback, you have to treat it as life and death because it is, nigga. That is what it is. So do this shit. Get off your ass and do this shit. Yeah, you can blah, 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 all these excuses. Uh, yeah, the pinch nerve. 
Nigga, so the fuck what? What are you going to do now? I told myself I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep moving this fucking weight. So this is it, y'all. I'm back. I ain't going nowhere. My goal, I told y'all, was for me to lose 100 pounds. Now, through this whole, like, pinch nerve shit and me shutting it down, you know, I really didn't gain a whole bunch of weight from that. I was 40 down before it, and I stayed with it. I'm like 30, 32 down at this point, so gained a few pounds during it. So I didn't eat super duper crazy for that journey, but now I'm back, and it's about to get hectic. It's about to get crazy, and I got to really go for it. Like, at the end of the day, what I say is fuck fat, man. If you're somebody that's like me, and trying to get motivated and try to do something for yourself and trying to get to this point where you can reach your goal, man. Hey, follow my journey. Maybe that'll do something for you. I know that you motivating me does something for me. And hopefully I can motivate you and hopefully we can talk and figure out and do things together. For those people that have been fit all their lives and now they're in their late 30s and their 40s and now you see that gut coming. Yo, don't fuck with this fat shit, man. Get off your motherfucking ass and do what you got to do to get your ass back in shape. Don't get into this shit. You don't want this shit. It ain't no game. It's hard. It's hard to get it off. So don't start now. Get off your ass. Fuck fat. I love y'all. Peace, my peoples. Rest in peace to Kobe.